you been following the election? This uh, cycle? I have. I'm keeping up a little bit. I haven't been like you know. I've been busy. I haven't been diving into it, but I've kept so track. not closely. Enough. I, I know enough. Yeah, I know. If you know, I'm well rounded in that. <laughs> have you um, have you watched any of the debates on either Republican or? Democrat? Uh yeah, I watched the GOP debate and I missed the uh, Democratic debate. What did you, what did you think about the uh, first debate? Who won? Who lost? If you remember <laughs> far back. I mean, honestly, right now it's a little different. But at the time of the debate, I think maybe Ben Carson did a really good job uh, with some points. Donald Trump kind of won in aspects of just getting airtime. You know what I mean? Just getting exposure. Um, but really, I don't think there was really any winner. I think Mark Rubio looked like an idiot. I think some of those guys clearly look like they're just getting paid and have nothing to say up there. Just like, what, you know. So what, what do you wish they would talk about? What, what do you think is the main issues? I think just be like fundamentally sound in what you want to get across and like stay true to it. And honestly, just have like a new policy in place that can like get America out of the gutter, so to speak. No, uh, what, what do you mean? Like, what do you uh, like, like a main topic? So topics they talk about is, uh, you know, Russia. Um, the Middle East, um, Planned Parenthood. What do you What do you think is the most important uh, thing right now? I don't really have one to be honest. I, I can't really give you one. I don't want to say one and not have enough to back it up. Um, there's a lot though. I'll say that. There's a, you know, it's it's a bunch of things. It's not just one. Uh, I can't really give you one. So are you uh, are you like open minded about this? You think you could be swayed uh, on, on either? No, I mean, I'm, I'm very open-minded. I read, you know, all the information myself. I don't really just let the, the narrative sway me either way. Uh, you know, I typically make my own informed decisions on, you know, who I like to believe. I really don't have a favorite right now. It's, it's you know, it's kind of a shit show uh, out there. So, um, it's unfortunate. I just, you know, I, sometimes Donald Trump kind of like, he said some good things that like, you know, I'm like, wow, that's awesome. But then again, he just said some stupid things. I'm like, why? You're so stupid. You were never going to be able to be president because he's just, he's a fool. Um, but I don't know what. Where do you want me to go with this? What's the next question? <laughs> um, so you still got like almost a year or so left. Um, so you think you're going to be following it more closely as it goes on? Or you think you're going to? Oh, absolutely amazing? no. I'm going to follow it a lot more closely. I haven't, like I said, I haven't even really dove into too much of it. That's why I couldn't give you one specific topic going forward. So I mean, I'm only going to just get more engaged with it. But right now, I mean, if you ask me something, I can answer it. But I can't really tell you what's the number one point of what I think. Okay. So. Well,